Hello everybody, Dmod, Gmod here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we took on the final and eighth gym of the Hoenn region, and we came out victorious. And honestly, we came out victorious pretty easily. Outside of his King Joe spamming double team, which could have gotten a little crazy out of hand, which thankfully was shut down pretty quickly. But outside of that, though, the gym battle was pretty easy. My team was really good against water types, though, so not everyone will have such an easy time with one, but I definitely had an easy time. If you ask me, in my personal opinion, Brawler should be the final gym leader of how freaking tough of a battle that thing is. Holy crap. <laughs> that being said, though, now we have all eight gym badges. If we wanted to, keyword is if we wanted to, we can now actually head on over to this place over here, Evergrande City. And by going over here, you'll be able to go to the end game of the game, essentially, which is where the Elite Four and whatnot, what, and whatnot are, which is the only place we haven't been yet. So that's how you know it's, you know, the place where we need to go if we want to keep the going with the story. That being said, though, there's one other thing I want to do before we head over to Evergrande City and it is something that you were meant to do probably in the post game because what we are going to do today is that we are going to go back to Sky Tower and we are going to do our damnedest to try and capture Rayquaza because we know it's there it's always been residing there at least I hope so or else this trip is going to be really pointless and that thing is very very powerful so I do not recommend doing this at my current level I'm like level 40 30 ish like like near 40 I do not recommend doing this early this early unless you're crazy like I am. But yeah, that being said though, here we go. My preparations that I did off camera for this. I've gotten ourselves 10 hyper potions. I've gotten okay, I didn't buy a full restore. I can make sure we have 10 revives. Uh, for Pokeballs, I'm coming in with 12 Pokeballs, 28 Ultra Balls. I got my Master Ball, which I'm going to try my best not to use. However, admittedly, this is actually probably one of the places where I would say it's okay or like not a terrible idea to use your Master Ball because this thing is powerful. And if you have no other alternative and you really want to catch it early, this might be your best bet. But, well, more on that later. I got 11 net balls, which, uh, hooray for voice cracks. Uh, what I was going to say is I got 11 net balls, but I don't think I'm going to be needing these because, you know, water and bug. So unless your cause is just a really giant sea serpent, I think it's not going to work on this. I got 11 S balls because I really, really want to recause it with hearts popping it when I throw it out. And we got my leftover 9 great balls. While not the craziest artillery of Pokeballs, I think they'll do the job just fine. And as you can see, my Pokemon are all the same level. So, uh, yeah, for those who've done this before, you guys know that I am severely on the level for this. But we're going to try our best and see what happens. That being said, though, we already know where Sky Tower is. We already know where to go. Let's fly on over. That being said, one last preparation you want to make sure you absolutely do before going over here because you're going to be needing it to even get to Rayquaza in the first place. And good thing I checked. You're going to be needing the mock bike to get up the Sky Tower. You'll see why in a little bit, but I need to go change that bike out. I thought I did this already, but apparently I forgot, so I'll be right back. Hello, yes sir. I'm here to catch a gigantic serpent that's a legendary Pokemon. I need your best bicycle stat. Oh, were you thinking about switching bikes? I was. Okay, no problem. I'll switch bikes for you. Thank you, Rydal. That's a fun name to say, actually. Rydle. It's like Rydle, 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 Rydle. Anyways. My rambling aside. If you get there, just bikes, just come see me. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to need the Aqua Bike again after this. So, uh, yeah. Mock Bike acquired. Now, let's fly over to Pacific Log Town. And let's get today started, shall we? Alrighty, back here in Pacific Log Town. This is the closest place to Sky Tower, as we already know. And I don't... Let me see how many repels I got. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine, though. I got plenty. Yeah, I made sure to buy tons of repels. I got 20 max repels. We are totally fine for this. Oh, actually, one more thing before I go. I made one last final preparation in case everything else fails. I bought 20, uh, not 20, 10 X defenses. So you can probably tell what my backup plan is in case I really can't handle this thing. But we'll get onto that problem when we get to it. That being said, though, let's go. All right, over here to the right. Avoid all the swimmers here, except I'm pretty sure I bowed them all at this point. So I don't think it'll be any trouble. Going up over here. Going over here, and just like that, we're back. Sky Pillar. It's only been two episodes since we've been here, but oh boy, this place has changed a lot since we've been here last. Here we go. Sky Pillar, the ultimate dungeon. Or at least I like to think so. Let's go. So as you can see here, Sky Pillar, so far, it looks pretty similar to what it was like last time, right? Like, it looks pretty much the same. You know, not much happened here. It makes sense. But then this happens. Apparently something happened while we were gone and it just completely ruined the floor here. And this is where the mock bike comes in because you need to be able to cross these really fast or else you fall through. I just want to fall through there to give you guys a demonstration. But yeah. So you need to be able to go really fast and you need to be able to make sure you know what you're doing 
and cross the paths quickly or else you're gonna fall through and go back to the previous floor. So, uh, once you get going, uh, make sure you keep going. And I didn't have enough speed, okay. That's the other thing too, is that you have to keep you have to keep up your speed or else you just fall over. You, you have to basically keep over a certain speed. It's like that one movie with the bomb on the bus that will blow up if they don't go fast enough. It's kind of like that. That sounds ex very extreme though for what we're doing. And Repel, don't ruin it. Okay, that's one thing you gotta worry about with Repel. They can actually kind of sometimes ruin your little run going through, so you gotta be a little bit careful about that. Okay, so for this one, I wanna go there. I wanna go... Ah, crap, I missed it. So as you can see, it's a little bit tricky. It may take you a few attempts to get down, so don't feel too bad. Especially if this is your first time. It's not my first time, but it's been a while since I've done this, like with everything in the end game of Emerald, so... Mistakes are bound to happen. And I feel like I already messed up. Hey, I got it. Alright, cool. I thought I messed up there. Okay, perfect. Alright, on to Sky Pillow number three, or floor number three. Let's see. Uh, wait, is there nothing on this floor? Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon, though. Not what I meant, but alright. <laughs> so yeah, combined with the fact that Repels can mess you up, and also there's wild Pokemon that can sometimes get in the way, this area here can um, admittedly be kind of obnoxious, but for the most part, you should be fine. And I might not be fine from the Blink Attack. Ow, I did like half my HP. I know it's super effective, but it's a freaking wing attack. Wing attack's pathetic. Oh well. Uh, I really would like to not waste one of my potions here, but you know, we're, we're going up the hill anyways. We may as well use them up. It'll still contribute to our cause, you know. Let's see. Alright, we're max control over time. And I, hopefully this is the last one I'm going to have to use to get through here. Okay, this floor has been relatively unchanged. That's awesome. And now this is where things start getting tricky. This is the floor I remember the most. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Whoops, okay. The nice part is that they don't send you all the way back to the bottom of the floor, even though they totally could have if they wanted to. So they're not that evil with it, so it's pretty forgiving, all, in all honesty. And I literally just did the same mistake twice. What am I doing? Alright, this may take me a few tries here. I'm no expert at this, that's for sure. Alright, wanna go down here, second one. And I almost had it. I just had to turn a little bit sooner. Crap, okay. Alright, uh, what is this? Like the seventh times the charm now, probably? <laughs> Go down, go in the middle, go... Damn it! Ah! Almost had it once again. I'm gonna keep trying a few more times. I don't want to just give up and cut it, cut it out because that'd be a little lame. And I'm not lame. I'm a pro. There you go. Okay, and I think I want to... A little speed here. I... Crap, I hit the wall. I think that's bad. Damn it! I was so close. Okay, well, if I got that right there, I would have had it. Dang it. Okay. This time, for sure. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> the moment I said I got this, I like messed up the worst of all the times. Holy crap. Okay, come on. It's not that hard. I am a pro Pokemon player. I got this. Never mind. Alright. Uh... No. Okay, come on. Can I just say that this kid has like the balls of steel for try even trying this out? This is a giant tower and falling through floors on a bicycle. That would hurt. But hey, you know, Nintendo logic, so it's probably fine. Aha! Wait. Are you serious? I went... Ugh. I forgot about that. If you go too fast, they kick you down here anyways. Ah, uh, evil dungeon. Evil, evil, evil dungeon. And repel not now, okay? We're having a crisis here. Alright, at this rate, I might have to get to Rayquaza. <laughs> Alright. Over here, and... Uh, I'm going to get this on camera. I'm not going to cut it away. I'm not going to quit. I am not a quitter. Quitters... I mean, winners don't use drugs, and winners also don't quit. And I am no quitter, and I definitely do not do drugs, so it's fine. Okay, no. It's left, right. Come on! Turn faster. <laughs> No, turn faster, god. I did it again. Ugh. Why am I like this? <laughs> well, at least it's probably amusing to watch. And I don't know if you heard it, but I just facepalmed myself so hard. <laughs> okay. I find new ways to fail every time. I think I'm going to find like every single way you can mess this up. Holy crap. Okay, I'll try a few more times on camera here. I'll try, like, maybe, like, five more times. There you go. Okay. Come on. I said five more times. Let's make it one. Let me let me jinx this, okay? Let me just jinx it, all right? Oh. 
Oh, come on. No, I, I swear I let go that time. That time, I feel like the bike just rolled on its own. Ah. If only there was a bike break, but unfortunately, these bikes do not have them. Freaking Hoenn Reach and outdated bikes. Back in my day, we had bike brakes and trainee wheels on everything. Or something like that. Okay, two more tries. Two more tries. Two more tries. Two more tries. We're not going to spend the entire episode doing this, I swear. Okay, maybe we are. <laughs> Holy crap, come on. That's like the easiest one. That's like the easiest turn out of all of these ones. You just got to wait a second. Go down. Repel, are you serious? <sighs> Okay, you know what? That, that one doesn't even count. I got interrupted. Okay, that one doesn't count. One more, one more, one more. I know I'm stubborn, and I know I should just cut away here. But gosh darn it, I'm gonna do it. Alright, here we go. Deep breath. Bernardia! Damn it! <laughs> okay, fine. I give up. At least on camera. I'm gonna get this eventually, I swear. Or else we're not gonna get very far in this tower here. So I gotta get this eventually. But here we go. Okay, wow, I found a new way to screw up. No, I did, oh, I did it again! That's such a trolly thing, oh my god. Yes, there we go! Ah, oh, finally! Made it through. It took a few tries, but we finally got it. And thankfully... That's all there is. That's the hardest one, and that's pretty much the end of it all. There's no more for us to go. It's just us, the tower, and a gigantic green serpent thingy dragon thing. There we go. Made it to the top. Sky Pillar's Peak. And if it wasn't obvious before, you absolutely, positively want to save before fighting this thing. So with that being said, let me save. Okay, we're back, and this game saved, preparations made, the time has come, and then my best bet here is I'm going to try, for the love of God, go up a damsel here and paralyze it if I get really lucky. If not, then oh well. That being said, though, not much more prep we can do. Here. We. Go. Sound of those drums or the sound of my demise. Rayquaza, the box art legendary, comes in at a whopping level 70. 70. It's a dragon flying type with amazing stats all over and has the ability airlock, which makes it so that all weather based, like anything weather based, is instantly cancelled out. So it is meant to counteract the droughts and drizzles that Groudon and Kyogre create. This thing is powerful beyond belief. And it has extreme speed, which is a very rare move at this point in the series, and uh, I'm definitely dead. Extreme speed is 100 power, has priority, so it pretty much always go first. It is an absolute nightmare of a move. So, uh, yeah, you best have a plan to deal with it, or else you're gonna get swept over. My plan to deal with this thing is to throw in bread and try and put this thing to sleep, and oh god, it's using Outrage. Am I gonna live this? I doubt it. Yeah, definitely not. So as you can see here, uh, this is the reason you want to do this thing in the post game because uh, it is an absolute monster of a Pokemon. If, if I can get lucky here, I can maybe burn it, but at the same time, I'll eventually knock it out. So I don't think I want to. So for the time being, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and revive Bread. I'm going to try and revive Bread here, and I'm going to try and either put it to sleep or do some magic here because uh, yeah, we definitely are not living any of these like, things outrageous. As you can see, it is completely destroying my team so far, and it hasn't gotten confused from Outrage yet, which is kind of surprising, and also very worrying. Okay, so while this is going on, I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to... where is it? Let me see. I'm going to go for Hyper Potion. I steal a bread here. I need to be at full HP if I want any chance to stand up to this thing. And while this is going on, can I just say, this music here, I think there's no better theme that can fit this absolute tyrant of a Pokemon, because this thing... It lives up to its name. It is definitely one of the strongest Pokemon of all time. And how is this thing not confused yet? 
It's an easy guy race for like three turns now. There you go. I was wondering what was going on. That was weird. Okay, so my plan here is I'm going to... You know what? I don't really have a better play at the moment, so let me just throw a Pokeball. Let me just see. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. <laughs> Could you imagine, though? First Pokeball guy. That would have been amazing, but oh well. Now, one of the problems here that fighting with Fighting River Quasi here is that it can actually knock itself out with its own confusion if it uses the outrages too much, so... Sometimes this thing will knock itself out and you have no control over it, so you really want to save before you fight this thing, because a lot of crazy things can happen when this thing is on the field. <laughs> if you want to keep hurting yourself, though, I will gladly appreciate- I'll gladly take this, because I need all the HP I can get. Shook once for the Pokeball, so you never know. Maybe he just actually really likes Pokeballs. And there's the extreme speed I was waiting for. Okay, that's gonna hurt. There goes Pierjo. If my if freaking Slack King cannot take it, if Weezing cannot take a hit, then yeah, there's no way Pierjo can take a hit. Okay, next Pokemon here. As you can see, I'm already half of my team down here, so uh, yeah, not the best. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try my best to. Oh god, please use. Okay, that's not sad. That's not a same type of attack bonus. I might be able to live if I'm extremely lucky. Let me see. Yes, I lived. Okay, perfect. Okay. That was my main gambit. I wanted to put this thing to sleep. Put this thing... Yeah, just put this thing to sleep. I'm, I'm talking over myself. I'm stuttering a lot because I'm very nervous. This thing is very scary. <laughs> I'm going to Hyper Potion while this thing attacks me. Oh, it put itself to sleep. I actually kind of forgot I could do that. Alright, perfect. In that case... So I can put itself to sleep and rest over here. So that means its entire moveset is Extreme Speed, Outrage, Rest, and Fly. That's right, you heard me fly. This thing actually is one of the few Pokemon who can actually learn and they gen move normally. So now that this thing is asleep, I'm going to spam max defenses like absolute crazy to do my absolute best to make sure that we can live every hit this thing dishes out. I need all the help I can get to catch this level 70 Pokemon. Is this a little- is it cheap? Maybe. Debat debatably, yes it is cheap, but I do not care. This thing is way too powerful to take on with normal means. And you... Alright, of course, if you want to keep being stupid, I would greatly appreciate it. Just let me just get max defense here. I should be able to take this relatively well, now that I have this many defense points up. Let me see. Yeah, look at that! that you're, you think you're so powerful, Rikwaza. You're nothing before my gorilla. And oh, okay, I take it back. Okay, don't hurt me, please. Wait. That wasn't a crit. Oh, wait a minute! Outrage is special in this game! I forgot! Oh, no! I just realized! Oh, I forgot! Oh my god, I'm a fool! Well, I'm about to get knocked out. Uh... Ultra Ball? Wanna be nice to your Rikwaza? You wanna just get in the Pokeball for me? No? Okay, screw you too. Well, uh, there goes my X defense plan. I thought I was ingenious with that, but, uh, apparently not. So, uh, yeah, that's a taste of the box art legendary's power there for ya. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, let's try the Pokeball once again. Nope. Okay. One. Ah. Oh. I just gotta say this while I'm trying to catch this thing. I've been like, knowing me and the editor, I probably started cutting away at this point because I've kind of run out of things I wanted to say at this point. But that being said, though, can I just say that with how powerful this thing has been destroying my team so far, could you imagine this thing had its mega evolution in this game? We would be so screwed. <laughs> if this thing had a mega evolution, I'm pretty sure this would be actually impossible. But you know, you just using your master ball up. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the... Let's max revive on right here. Well, folks, uh... Second attempt is not looking too good, I can say that. Unless I get really lucky with a Pokeball at this very moment. Come on, Ultra Ball! I believe in you! What? You suck, Ultra Ball! God dang, you had one job! Well, folks, uh... The second try... Was a failure. All right.
already. Third time's the tr uh, third time's the charm, as they say. My plan now, this time, we're gonna go right in the bread. We're gonna try and put this thing to sleep immediately. Let's do this. A quick tip for you people, if you're trying to catch this thing just like I am, if you have a Pokemon that can force paralysis onto this thing, that would be very helpful, because this main thing's problem is that it's so fast that it has a very good chance of knocking up before you even get the chance to move. So if you can put this thing into like a paralyzed state, or if you even more luckily get the chance to freeze it, even though you know you can't force freeze onto anything, you have to get lucky with like an ice cream or blizzard or something, but if you can get one of those things going onto it, it will be very, very helpful. Sleep is probably the next best bet, and honestly if this thing didn't have rest and put this thing itself to sleep, this would be pretty freaking hard to do. Now it's drowsy. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up once again. I'm gonna try for a little bit once again on camera, but after I try for a little bit, I think we'll go back to the cutting method because, admittedly, while it would be kind of cool to get to watch the whole montage of trying to catch this thing and just showing how much of a beast this thing really is, seriously, your cause is, as I said, one of the strongest Pokemon like ever. But it would be a very, very long time because this thing will take most likely a very long time to catch you. I've already been here for what feels like half an hour, so yeah. Very hard Pokemon to catch. And probably the hardest Pokemon to catch in the entire game. In my books, anyways. So that being said, I'm going to use Max Defense once. It should still be asleep. It rest lasts for two turns of sleep, so... You can play around that a little bit to, use to your advantage. Let me see here. Go for an Ultra Ball. Yeah, I didn't think so, but it was worth a shot. I got one X Defend up, so I should be able to live anything that's not Outrage. Outrage is the main problem in this, and unfortunately we have no Fairy type, so I, even if I want to... In fact, I don't really think of it, it'd be kind of funny, but I think Mawile would be like the perfect counter to this thing. If, you know, we could have it at this point, because in Ruby and Sapphire, you can actually have a Mawile at this point, but in this game, you cannot have Mawile yet, so... But it would be a really good counter, because you can intimidate to lower its attack, you'd be like Steel Fairy in a future game, so you'd like resist everything it can do. And you'd be flat on the view to Outrage, so yeah, it'd actually be a really good counter. And the reason I actually thought about that is because inside my, uh, uh, actually I should say this quickly, it's spoiler alert from uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for those who haven't played like the remakes or not or the originals of the very first game is that Rekaza is the main story final boss and I actually used them all while on my main team for that game and it completely countered Rekaza so kind of funny how this tiny little, you know, cutesy little Pokemon completely countered this absolute god of a Pokemon. I wonder what happened if I countered. Do you think I just one shot it? I want to find out actually, I'm curious. I want to find out. If I counter this thing, will I easily knock it out? Let's find out. Even though I should probably be using my turn to put this thing to sleep. I did a really good chunk of damage to it. Wow, okay. Uh, well, good to know. I can counter this thing to do some massive damage to it if I want to lower its HP again. The more you know. <laughs> and knowing it's half the battle. G.I. Joe. Or something like that. I don't know, I'm just making random references at this point. I just want to catch this thing in this already. I'm determined. We gotta. And it's going back up to the sky. I can't hit it up there, so, uh... And I'm pretty sure my true turn's about to activate, so I may as well just go ahead and use an Defend right now. Load to slice damage. And wait for it to come back down to where I can yawn at it. Actually, now that I think of it, it's kind of funny, but my, uh... But Bread being out here and also having Rekaza, it's kind of like King Kong versus a Godzilla, huh? I know it's not quite the same, it's not like a Trianatar, which is like quite literally Godzilla, but it's close enough, right? Alright, if you want to keep using Fly, I am not complaining. Now I shall put you to sleep. You may be a mighty dragon, but I yawn. Never mind, I don't yawn to you, good sir. And now I'm dead. Well, shucks. <laughs> All right, that's not good. In that case, I'm going to go right up to Arnold, and this is probably my best bet to try and catch this thing right now. I'm going to try and go for the Pokeballs here. Let's see. Uh, try get Nest Ball. I'm not giving up my Heart Dream, okay? I really, really, really want this thing in the Nest Ball. However, it does not want me. I mean, come on. Can't you work with me with Claws? The Nest Ball's green. You're green. It has a little bit of shading, like, yellow on it. It's like the perfect fit for you. It fits you naturally. I think it'd make you look exquisite. Divine, even. So why don't you like them? Why, so why don't you like them, huh? What's so wrong about nest balls, huh? It's confused. This is probably my best chance now to try and catch this thing. So, ultra balls are go. Never mind. I, it, it heard me or something. It did not want to get in the ball. And it used rest. I don't know how I, I don't know if I should feel good about that or if I should feel bad about that because now I have to get this thing's HP all the way down once again. 
But at the same time, it does give me a chance to try and catch a thing in sleep. So I'm gonna throw some Pokeballs here. Nope. Okay. Okay, we got one more turn to sleep. Come on, Pokeball. I'm trying to Ultra Balls. This has not been working. All right, fine. Screw you, two Pokeball. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, and finally, uh, you know what? The Great Ball, for whatever reason, has actually been having lots of success this project. So you know what? Frick it. Great Ball, prove how great you are once again. Never mind, you suck still. <laughs> Sat out of confusion, and... Oh, it tried to go back to sleep. Alright, I'll take it. I think I'm gonna try and toss it this thing. And I think I can take an extreme speed from this thing. I'm very bulky defensively. Let me see here. And a crit, so I'll never know. Wow. Alright, you know what? I got one last plan here to try and make this thing a little bit more bearable. But it's not looking so good. I'm going to try and will this thing to half its attack. I missed again, are you serious? I missed the last time I tried that too. This isn't fair, I'm getting unlucky. I mean, I'm getting unlucky with my Pokeballs, but I don't need to get unlucky with my moves too. Throw me a bone game, please. Come on, I'm finally like the strongest thing ever here. Alright, you know what? That being said, though, I think at this point, I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to get knocked out by this, obviously, but I'm going to throw it right here. And then from this point forward, I think I've talked enough about Rayquaza. I think I've been trying to catch it long enough on camera. I think for now, I think it's time for a montage. I'm trying to catch this thing, and the absolute demon of a beast it is. How many adjectives can I use to describe this thing and its awesome power? Find out next time on Pokeball Z or something. <laughs> Are you serious? Another crit? Come on, I had two next defenses up. That's cheating. Uh, wouldn't be a legendary Pokemon though if it gave up that easy. Are you serious? Another crit? Come on! Ugh! One, two. I know this is completely random, but something I find kind of funny about Rayquaza is that every single one of its renders that you ever see of it, it always looks like it has like the stupidest grin on its face. It looks like it just told like a bad pun or a really good joke, and it's like just waiting for everyone's reactions to it. I don't know. It's so funny for just this gigantic demon of a serpent just having this goofy, happy smile on its face. I love it so much. One, two. Free? Ah, oh, no! That was like the first free shake in forever. Ah, oh. I was so close. This close, I could taste it. I could taste the green dragon in my mouth. That sounds really weird. <laughs> Let's not say that again. Forget. Let's try that ball. Why not? We're trying everything. Screw it. Okay, fine. <laughs> Another good tip for you that I can recommend if you're having trouble catching this thing and you have low level Pokemon like I do and you want to catch this thing early is that if you have Regirock and Registeel Cut, both of those Pokemon, especially Registeel, can take these, this thing's hits pretty well and resist all of his moves. So you never know. If you ever need some extra help, Registeel might be your guy or girl or thing. <laughs> oh. I may be going a little crazy at this point if you can tell. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Hit yourself, you stupid dragon. Hit yourself. Give yourself a concussion. That sounded really mean. I am sorry, Rikwaza. I, I, mean, I did not mean it like that. I am sorry. <laughs> Come on, Pokeball. No, Pokeball. Still sleeping. Maybe this. Come on. I'm actually getting beat. Dang you. Oh, it's been asleep for four turns now. Wow, okay. 
All right, I guess I'll try the Pokeball next. I'm throwing everything, basically, so uh, why not try the Pokeball? One, two. Ah, oh, he got my hopes up. Dang it. That's the worst feeling in the world. I really should stop throwing Nest Balls. I really should, but it's so tempting. I want it. Oh. Ah, dang. I thought it was going to reward me for a second. <laughs> You're confused. You want to hit yourself. Or you want to go back to sleep. That works too, you know? You're an old cranky Rick Claws. You've been around for years, you know? You probably want your... You probably want your nap. It's okay. One, two, three. Oh, no. I've been here for an hour. If only it worked. I was so close. Oh, my God. Please, Rekwaza. I will worship you to the day I die if you just get in the next Pokeball. Please. Okay? Okay, I don't know if you have a, like, a cult or something. I don't know if you have worshippers, but I'll be like the head of that cult if you need me to. If you just want to get in this freaking Pokeball right now. Okay, fine. Screw you. I don't like outrage, it's really strong. And it makes me scared. I don't have I don't have lyrics anymore. I'm going crazy, okay? Oh shoot, it's gonna die. Uh crap. Um it's you oh boy, uh Oh, well, this is definitely my last chance to try and catch this thing. Let's, uh... Um, uh... Blah, 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 blah. Nest ball, frig it. If it hits itself, hits you with an outrage, or anything, it's done. And no hearts. Sadness. <gasps> oh, we have a second chance of life arrested. Oh my god, are you serious? Wow. I thought it was gonna knock itself out. Alright, perfect. Awesome, alright, we got a second chance of life here, folks. We can't let it go to waste. Oh, no, not yet, not yet. We got one more chance. Alright, uh, final chance. I don't care. Go Ultra Ball, please. Come on, it has a sliver of HP. Do it. One, two, da. That would have been so good. Well, there goes me. Again. I'm gonna cram you into this baseball if you like it or not, Rikwaza. I swear it. Ice beam, more like a nice beam. In this situation, oh, I'm talking like old James because I don't know, I'm going crazy. Come to Papa. One. Man. Can I get a free shake once in a while? You know, I've been getting lots of ones, I've been getting lots of twos, but can I get a free for once? Sounds like an auction. Just like, can I get a one? Can I get a two? Can I get a three? Can I get a four? Except if a four would be caught, which I would love to get a four. What? Come on. <laughs> because of no, you had so much to live for. Well, we beat the legendary Pokemon, guys. Uh... That's a reset. <laughs> it was a funny reset, but we did it. Well, reset time. I'll never give up on the nest ball. Come on. All right, fine. I give up on the nest ball. I give up. I quit. I quit. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. All right, come on. This is perfect. It's a sleep. It's at red health. It's the best chance we're ever going to get. Please, work. Not even a shake. Come on, game. Don't taunt me like that. It's rude. Don't knock yourself out. Okay, come on. It has a sliver of HP. This is perfect. Please. Give it to me, game. Come on. RNG, bless me. I hate you, RNG. I hate you so much. Taking all my hopes and dreams and just throwing it onto the ground. Oh, 
Oh my god, I was gonna freak out if that actually worked. What the hell? One, two, three! Oh no! If I caught in the Pokeball! That would have been so good! So, something interesting that I learned while fighting this thing that I actually didn't know about is that apparently in Generation 3, you can actually throw Pokeballs at Pokemon that are flying in the air. You can just catch them in air. You can't do that in the future games. That's kind of a neat feature. Except I understand why they took it away, because it kind of makes no sense. And Rayquaza killed itself again. I've been at this for two hours. Someone help me, please. Finally! Oh my god! It was ineligible, but friggin' it's a great help. That's cool, right? Oh my god. Finally. Finally! I've been at this for two and a half hours. Finally! Holy crap. Oh. I wanted to catch it in a stupid Pokeball, but you know what? It's been two and a half hours. I did use my Master Ball. It's a victory in its own self. Holy crap. This probably goes to show how lucky I was with the Reggie Pokemon, which took like no time at all except for Reggie Rock. Holy crap. Rayquaza's data was added to the Pokedex, or Rayquaza, Rayquaza, whatever you want to call it. Number 200 Rayquaza, the Sky High Pokemon, at a height at 23 inches. And a weight of 455 illibles. That is one big boy. A Pokemon that flies endlessly in the ozone layer. And it's said that with the sense of the ground of Kyogre and ground on where to fight. And we actually witnessed that for ourselves. So, uh, yeah, we literally saw history in the making there. Hey there. We finally caught ourselves Rayquaza. And you know what? I know the perfect nickname for you, Mr. Took Forever to Catch. You, sir, only get one name for me. You, here, you there, sir. Or a butthead. I'm calling this legendary bi I said- <laughs> I just realized I put buttheb. Oh my- that shows you how tired I am. I've been trying to catch this thing forever. But you know what? Screw it. Butthead the Rayquaza. Finally! Oh my god. I probably would have yelled louder when I caught it, but my voice is so dry from like narrating the entire time I've been trying to catch this. And by narrating, I mean I didn't narrate the entire time, but I narrated most of the time. That being said, though, let's get out of here. I don't want to be back here ever again. Let's fly out of here. Holy crap. That felt good to catch. <sighs> Finally. Let's take a look here at our brand new spanking, Buttheb. The worst name for a Pokemon ever. Here it is, Buttheb the Rayquaza, level 70. By far the strongest Pokemon you'll probably encounter in your entire adventure. As you can see, Dragon Flying has Airlock for its ability. Has, ooh, has Adamant Nature? That's actually really good. That makes it so it has higher attack and less special attack. So, those extreme speeds and flies are going to hit even harder now. As you can see, this thing's stats are absolutely off the charts. It is a crazy strong Pokemon. And its moves, we've already seen these plenty of times. Trust me, I've seen these moves way too many times for my liking. And apparently, it's really cool. <laughs> And you know what? After all this suffering, I know exactly how to end off this video. But have get in the party over here, just for a second. That being said, though, today we have caught ourselves Rayquaza, a Pokemon that you should definitely not try to catch until the post game, as it is way too strong. Unless you know you want to suffer like I did. That being said, though, we finally caught it. So next time on Pokemon Emerald, at this point, I don't think there's much left for us to do. I think it is time for us to take our team. And surf on over to Evergrande City and begin our way to the final areas of the game. My throat probably sounds really scratchy. That's because I've been talking forever. It's been two and a half hours, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> that being said, though, see you guys then. But before we leave, we're doing one thing before we leave. 